The way I create my tiles is I start with a lump of clay. And this clay is a bit hard because it was sitting in my car. Welcome to the ceramic studio here at Westbeth. My name is Michelle Weinberg. I work in uh, varied mediums for commissions and public art projects. And uh, working with ceramics is a way that I get to fabricate my work with my own hands. And so I've been delighted to work in this fantastic studio where I can block out a private bunch of time and bring in my materials and spread out. On the table, I have some samples of uh, completed works that were done recently. I generally consider myself a surface designer. I come from a painting and drawing background, so I'm rarely creating three-dimensional sculpture. But tiles and slabs uh, for me is so great to make in ceramic. I've also worked in paper mache in the past, but the effect of a glazed surface and the solidity and the feel of the clay and working with a material that's from the earth is so gratifying and it produces a beautiful result. I think everybody will tell you the same thing. I'm about to tell you that working with clay is very therapeutic. So as an artist who creates work for architecture and interiors and public spaces, I like working with materials that have that kind of durability. Here on the table, there are some hexagonal tiles. I like to roll the slab by hand and cut them according to a template so they have a very handmade, uneven effect. This is a example of what the tile looks like when it's glazed and ready to fire. You have to put a lot of coats of glaze on it and make sure there's no glaze on the bottom so it doesn't stick to the kiln. And then the finished result um, looks like this. So you can see uh, it's that transformation and you can see shrinkage. The objects get a little smaller when they're in the kiln. So you have your wet moist clay and you work on it, you allow it to dry and that's called greenware and then uh, it is fired once in the kiln and it's hardened and that's called bisque ware and then you can apply glaze and fire it the second time. If you really know what you're doing, there are many stages at which you can apply glaze. There are many different glaze fires. For my tiles that have the gold luster on them, they got fired uh, a third time. So first to become hard, then to become off-white, then with the gold, which is um, an actual liquid glaze of gold. So they overlap each other and they're attached to the wall. They have the effect of like fish scales or shingles. This overlapping effect is something that I want to continue to work in. So I'm experimenting with different glaze surfaces and colors. So a matte versus a satin versus a glossy. These are all the things that um, I'm bringing into my repertoire as an artist and grateful to have a ceramic studio right here where I live in Westbeth. It's not about a uh, kind of machine made look or something that's perfectly uniform.